Cloud Code is currently the best AI and vibe coding tool out there, but what if I told you you could be using it more efficiently so you're not hitting those rate limits five minutes into coding? Here are the top three things you could be doing to optimize your workflow without using any extra MCP servers or the like. If you're new here, welcome! I'm Natalie, a professional software engineer, and in my free time, I love exploring vibe coding. Number one are the built-in commands and flags. Let's say you had to exit Claude for whatever reason, you want to resume the previous conversation. Well, use the dash dash resume command for that. There's also a shorter version of dash r. There's a GitHub issue up discussing discrepancies between these two, but maybe by the time you're watching this video, they will be resolved. Another great one is dash dash continue if you want to continue the most recent conversation. So even if you're using Claude in VS Code as the extension and it starts up, you can hit Control C and restart it with Claude-R or Claude-Continue. Now let's talk about built-in slash commands. If you've been working on something for a long time, you can always clear the conversation history with slash clear or compact it with slash compact and also include optional focus instructions. It's also possible to make your own custom slash commands, but that will be a topic for another video. Check it out up here. The second thing you should do is use Claude in planning mode. There seems to be a lot of discussion on exactly how to enter planning mode, and I've seen some conflicting instructions. So what I would say, you can simply tell Claude to plan and not make any code changes. You can be even more efficient with planning if you tell Claude to plan and then put the plan into a markdown file. Later, you can ask it to split the plan into tasks and make a folder with a file per task so that the plan and the tasks are split into the tiniest chunks possible. The third thing you want to do is utilize the Claude.md file. This file can exist at different levels of your code repository. Suppose you want to set up a Claude.md to store important information and conventions about your code base. Well, you can use the slash command slash init to set up the Claude.md for your code base. In a great video on the Anthropic channel where Boris, the creator of Cloud Code, talks about these CloudMD files, he notes that they can be put at the base of your code repository, checked in with the Git repository, you can make a cloud.local.md file just for yourself, and you can also make additional cloud.md files for each folder that you're working in. For example, if you're working on a specific component, you, you can put a component-specific cloud.md file there as well. You can add memories using a hashtag. Hashtag always run a lint check before marking the task as complete. On clicking enter, you will be prompted to select which file to store this memory in. And as a bonus, I want to mention that it is incredibly helpful to use the Gemini CLI as it has a longer context window as a project manager for Cloud Code. You can add this to the cloud.md file to make sure that Claude uses Gemini CLI to analyze, plan, so when you're working on larger files or code bases that might exceed the context limit of Claude code, you can instruct it to use Gemini CLI instead. What's really cool is that Gemini CLI has a really generous free tier, and even if you're working on something difficult, it will take quite a while to reach the limit. If you want to know more about how to pipe in Gemini CLI into Cloud Code, check out the next video.